I was going to do this outside, but uh, I got here and it's pouring with rain, so we're doing it in here. Okay, it's Sunday the 5th of June, 2022. Uh, we are back here at Chill Factor. Tonight we are training with Torres Alpine. It's a three hour training session and I need to run inside because not only did I leave 20 minutes late and I got stuck in traffic on the M56. And this is Let's Go Skiing. Okay, so we're inside now. I've left the kid downstairs, just came up to use the bathroom. So I'm excited to be back here uh, to train again tonight. Um, haven't actually trained for AIDS, still haven't trained for AIDS. This is actually my first training session since my last training session on the dry slope. Um, but no, it should be good. Um, I have bought my plant, I bought the GoPro with me. Uh, I'm going to ask if I can like wear, wear the um, GoPro on my chest just to record a couple of runs. And I'm gonna, I bought my yellow um, GoPro stick with me to see if someone can follow, follow cam me down. Um, so hopefully I'll try and get some action from the slopes and then tonight it's just about working hard really and uh, trying to improve that technique. Okay, some good news. We've been given the green light for using the GoPro on the slope. So some of the races just starting to go up the button lift now. Just going to kit up here. Helmet, back protector, shin guards, gloves. And then we'll be ready to go. What like? Okay, so halfway through training and I've actually got company tonight from my club. Sophie and Noah, both here. Sophie, would you like to show off your wonderful Oval Ski Club hoodie, which is signed by the one and only Dave Riding. I got to say I'm a little bit jealous. So guys, what do you think of the training session so far tonight? Really good. Really good coaching as well. Bit scary when you have to sneak a ski off though. That's my least favourite drill. When I forgot that I'd taken a ski off and went flying. I did too. It's really it's great and super to see you. Yeah. Usually on dry slopes it's a lot easier, but here, a lot of flats down. No, it's easier on snow. I, I think I, I can kind of get where Noah's coming from because I think it's when you're on the dry slope the surface doesn't change underfoot, whereas here it, it does. So. But it's a softer landing. Yeah, there is, there is that to it. Although I landed on a patch of ice, so. Whoa. But yeah, so this is this is the course. So I'm going to head back out in a few minutes and I'm going I'm to GoPro the course. So. Yeah, that's it's a decent set. There's a couple of hairpins in there, a couple of flushes in there. No stubby course tonight, so that's really going to challenge me. But hey, I raced down this slope a few weeks ago, so if I can manage. There's a stubby on the last. Oh, there are stubbies! Well spotted. Yes. Okay, I'm happy now. I'll, I'll do, I will do both courses, though. I'm going to do both courses. Okay, back to the slope. So we're just going to do a quick inspection. We go from a wide turn into a quick vertical section. And it's quite nice and flowy actually this one. Kind of go round, follow it round. Yeah, this is this is a nice course. Nice and flowy. section here and finish down here so that is the stubby course we're going to start on here and then we're going to shoot over to the main one I'm just going to leave it recorded. 
no point fussing. So I kind of held back a little bit because I, I haven't trained. I basically haven't skied for weeks. But this is training. I can go full send in training if I crash. I crash. Just got to think. Get my body across the gate. I think that's kind of half my problem. I don't. I don't get my body on the other side of the gate, even though I should. Okay. 
broken gate. Wait at the bottom for you. Best thing to do is not think about it, <laughs> just do it. And if you think you're gonna crash into one of the gates, you literally just skid to a stop. That's what I do. Stop and reset, it's the best thing to do. Go on. Have you skied this one yet? I've, I've inspected it, I've not skied it yet. Okay. Then, first you'll have to just pop in. Try and get you on the high line for the entrance and the exit. Yeah. So the, the it's a decent, decent course then, is that? I actually... Pass, yeah. I actually raced here a few weeks ago. How's it going on? I didn't finish last. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah. No excuses. 
excuses. Fresh track, no excuses. That is very true. Training finished. Um, just headed to the bathroom before I. Oh god, that is steaming up pretty bad. Let's just uh, wipe that. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, yeah. So, oh, what a great session. What a brilliant session. I tell you what, my, my confidence is coming back. Like after I did the race a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago, I was like, I don't know, just something wasn't clicking. Something didn't feel right. But tonight, the way I skied that tonight, that has really given me some confidence. So. You know, it's all pretty good. Snow cannons are on over there. Anyway, I'm going to get myself home now because it, um, it's uh, it's 20 past nine, and uh, I'm going to work at half six tomorrow. So, okay, so I'm still here. Uh, I just thought I'd kind of finish up here because when I get in, I'm pretty much going to need to go straight to bed. So yeah, really, really great session tonight. I am so glad I came. I nearly didn't. Um, so I'm trying to save money. Oh look, a Royal Mail lorry. <laughs> it's not even focusing. Anyways, so yeah, really, really good session tonight. Um, I am trying to save money, so like I wasn't, I wasn't going to come, but ultimately, my cousin told me, "What's the point in saving money if you're not going to do the things you enjoy?" And you know, she was right. Coming tonight was exactly what I needed. Um, yes, as I was saying, I, when I raced a few weeks ago. I mean, I hadn't trained for like six weeks when I raced three, four weeks ago, um, so I was out of practice. Um, and I think because it was race day, that just kind of added a few more nerves, whereas today, with training, it's like you can go full send and it doesn't matter if it goes wrong. I, I, like, I fell over a couple of times and I, I did my, I, the, probably my best one, I straddled the gate and literally spun round. Lost a ski, spun round, and then literally just ended up starfish face down in the snow. <laughs> it's brilliant. But, you know... It doesn't matter if these things happen in training, that's what training is for. So whereas my initial plan was to spend most of my time on the stubby course, I actually didn't. I actually spent most of my time on the main course, which I was quite proud of. Um, I've managed to miss the gates with my shin guards a couple of times and hit them above my knee instead. And there's a whacking, it's actually swollen up, so that's going to have a whacking great big bruise there tomorrow, but don't care. So, no, it's been absolutely brilliant training session. Great to have a couple of my teammates with me. Shout out to Sophie and Noah. Hope you enjoyed the session tonight. You skied brilliantly. Um, and yeah, just stay tuned for the next one. Because um, I'm definitely going to put myself onto the next one. In fact, I'm doing all the rest until the end of the se until the end of the summer season. So, yeah. Chill factor sign there. And this is Neats signing off. Until next time. <laughs>